Yes, no. See, when I was reading this, it's exactly what so you guys designed. Uh, this culture preaches totally against uh, yeah. those yeah. innate yeah. instincts. It's so good when he puts it in our hearts. Yeah. 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 She's hiding here. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I get very good. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't want to get caught. Matthew, M A T T H E W, Truella, T R E W H E L L A. Now, why were you here today? Was you in a really project? Okay. I was here to instruct people in the doctrine of the lower magistrates in the face of tyranny how they can rein in a federal government that's beyond its constitutional restraints and which has invaded our domestic affairs and has made unjust and immoral laws upon our nation. Okay. Now, um, your views on um, homosexuality and abortion have come under fire in the press. What do you say to your detractors that say it's not meant for Missoula, it's, um, they're, they're too extreme? Sure. Well, William Blackstone, who was America's most cited legal scholar by America's founders, said that God's law was binding upon all countries, upon all men, at all time. And that would include Missoula. And so um, it's very important for people to understand that we came to have the liberties that we have in this nation precisely because of Christianity and the good that it brings to nations. Can you start with, um, uh, can you end on that note, and can you actually start with um, my views on homosexuality and abortion come from, come, come to this. Oh, okay. Basically, basically just mention what, what you're referring to. Um, okay, to sure. Um, yeah, my views on abortion and homosexuality are from the Word of God. God says in His Word, you shall not murder. That's as plain as day. Uh, the killing of the preborn is cold-blooded murder. It's cruel, it's brutal. Anyone who doubts the humanity of these preborn children, just go to the library, pull out a medical textbook on fetal development, and you can see the humanity of these children for yourself. And when it comes to my views on homosexuality, that is also found in the Word of God. Um, homosexuality is a crime. Um, it's also a sin. It's something that we should not tolerate in a culture. It's something that we should not make, uh, have the force of law behind it. The, there was a man who was defending, who, who, uh, who, who killed uh, uh, another human yes. uh, for an abortion's sake. Yes. Uh, so what do, what do you have to say about that? Sure. Yes, in 1993, um, there was a man who shot an abortionist. And there was a paper put out saying that if he had did it to defend preborn children from being murdered, it would be justifiable act. I signed on to that paper because I believe that a preborn child is worthy, worthy of defending as much as a postborn child is worthy of defending. If I was to say, well, I'd rather that the abortionist be alive, then I'm saying I prefer that the baby, the innocent baby, be dead. I would be spitting upon their humanity. Um, after that, the person who circulated this petition or this statement is what it was, I saw that they began to move to a position where they were advocating the use of force to defend the preborn. I was not willing to do that. Everything that I've done over the 25 years has been of a nonviolent nature, so I asked to have my name removed from that statement. Okay. You two uh, detractors who say uh, your message, what you, your opinions, what you talked about today, does not belong in Missoula, or uh, is just lewd and uh, people don't need to hear that kind of stuff. Sure. Well, a lot of people don't like the fact that God's law condemns homosexual acts. So they don't like me talking about God's law. But the truth of the matter is, um, you know, the homosexual, they'll say, oh, you know, you want to recriminalize homosexual acts so that you can, what, police our bedrooms? And that's an absolute lie. Um, for nearly 1,500 years, homosexual acts were outlawed throughout Western civilization, and no one was ever going into people's bedrooms. The purpose of these laws was to suppress that activity, that behavior, from taking place. And, um, and it did a good job. 
But now you may have noticed that since we've legalized it and made it acceptable within our culture, what happens when you don't suppress that type of behavior? For instance, in my son-in-law's town, where my daughter and him reside, um, in New Orleans, homosexuals come out and sodomize each other on the streets of New Orleans every fall. Also, you have now a government that is shoving homosexuality upon the students of America well, through the school. Well, what's wrong with that? Um, they, well, what's wrong with uh, people being, um, knowing more about, uh, being more comfortable around gay people? Because, you know, they're humans too. They're, so. Well, the behavior itself should be suppressed. So no one should have to become comfortable around someone who has decided to participate in perversion and sexual licentiousness. Okay, anything else you'd like to add about